Hello. We are so we are so coordinating today. I know. You've got like the red and the purple going on, and I've got all blue today. Like, hello, hello. Like, okay. This is what we're doing. We're living. If only you had your purple hair. I mean, uh, yeah. But the red is good. The red is good. I didn't feel purple today. Valid. <laughs> But hello, 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 and welcome to The Cup TV, the currently unnamed podcast, where we put the real and the tea in reality, and where you can always come to us first to quench your thirst. I'm your girl, Lana, your resident evil diva, and I'm here to give the tea, spill the tea, and drink the tea, because you know I love me some tea. Sure. And if you have some tea, you know what to do. Hit me up. I am currently drinking orange juice because it's rather early in the morning. Mm -hmm. And um, I feel like orange juice is the way to go. And um, I'm drinking it out of my cup mug. Uh Because why not? Orange juice, cup mug, there you go. Um, But yeah, and you know what you can do? You can get one of these cup mugs or any of our cup merch at lanagescreations.etsy.com. The link will be in the description below. And we do ship internationally and domestically in the U.S., so there are no excuses. I'm looking at all the Big Brother fans around the world and all the new fans of Ranger Games. Get your cup merch. Thanks. Yeah, what are you doing? Hello. (laughs) The best Christmas gift of all time is a cup mug. Absolutely. I would be so honored. Period. To mug for Christmas. Or whatever <laughs> December holiday you celebrate. Because it here at be... the Cup, we support all holidays. Absolutely. And hi, I'm Logan Murphy. I say something gay. Gay, I already drank my coffee. Uh, because it is early today for us. <laughs> so I am just drinking water. Uh, but it is cucumber lemon water because uh, hydration today more than ever is incredibly important. It's still going to be in the 70s in December in Arizona, and I'm going to be outside for the rest of the day. So I'm going to need some good hydration. That sounds beautiful. I wish it was in the 70s here for the rest of the day. Like I told you the other day, Lana, I will swap with you. I'm happy to do so. I will happily give it to you if they would allow that to happen because I, agree. I am sick of this already. Anyway, <laughs> um, we're here to talk about the reindeer games. Yeah, it's, week, brother. We're it's back. week two. We're back. It's week two of reindeer <sighs> games, the final week of the reindeer games, and a lot is happening, and we're going to talk about it all. But a first, tragedy, a tragedy occurred today. Oh. oh. Well, I will say that. Well, you know, you are not wrong. You are not wrong I'm about that. I'm surprised I'm saying that, given my thoughts a literal yes. week ago. But anyway, absolutely. But first, subscribe to the channel. You're here. You know it. You like us. We see you watching, and we appreciate you looking at and checking out these videos for the Ranger Games because we know how much you are a big fan of the Ranger Games, and we're enjoying it as well so subscribe to the channel we appreciate you for doing so and um if you're a fan of drag or all or drag race or all things drag follow us over on our main channel at the cup of pod where we discuss mostly all things drag and we put out content almost every single day just like we do here put out content almost every single day and then if you happen to be a fan of eurovision song contest we have a channel for you over as well and we put out content all the time over there because your vision season is heating up. It's ramping up. Things are happening all and the we time. Posted a vi- we posted a video earlier today at the time you're seeing this, if you're watching it on the day that we released, talking all things Benidorm Fest in España. Period. So, so check all of that out. Also, we have our annual cup awards coming out. They're coming, and we need to hear from you. Your voices need to be heard. So if you're seeing this video before Thursday, December the 21st, at by 11.59 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, then mm. go to our community tabs, click the form, vote for all the things 
reality TV, drag, wrestling, Eurovision, and iconic cup moments because we know you have them. We know you watch and we appreciate you watching. So hit that thing. We appreciate everybody who's been filling out the forms thus far. We had a great response thus far and we appreciate you so much, but we would love to continue to get more and more responses from you. We want to hear from you. Who do you think did 2023 correctly? Who did it the best? So check it out. Fill out what you want in the form. If you're not a fan of everything we cover, which is possible. Fill out what you're interested in. Don't fill out what you don't want to. If you just want to fill out stuff, all of it, because you want to, and you want to make some guesses on some things, do that too. Because you know what? We love a bit of chaos. I love chaos. If you don't know who to pick, just pick anything and we'll see what happens. I love that. So do all of those things, period. Thank you so much for support. And look out for the couple awards coming soon. But Reindeer Games. Logan? Logan, Logan. <laughs> Florida. Logan. I mean, I'm still mourning the loss of Danielle. I'm not Me too. Even. That's what this is about. I'm still mourning the loss of Danielle. It's, there is a uh there's a Danielle Reyes sized hole in, in this heart. episode. And I'm going to be really honest. I even noticed a change in the mood. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Like, I, my favorite part of this episode, <laughs> shocker, comes from Brittany Haynes. But, <laughs> but when Brittany is just in the diary room, just going, well, for this naughty and nice challenge, we have to find the clues and find out who kidnapped Jill Frost. We have to find the clues. I'm like, she is so over it. They are all so over this reindeer game. It's like the, the lethargic attitudes when it came to this episode. I was just like, ooh, damn. They were like, oh, we did not think it was going to be this hard for two weeks. Like, it's literally just a few days. Well, I, don't even, I don't even think I don't they think filmed over two, two weeks. weeks. It no. probably was back-to-back days. Yeah, like a week. With like maybe. maybe a day off in between. And I know they're like, I am sick of it. <laughs> I'm sick of it. They are tired of it. They're ready to go home. And... I think losing Danielle was a real big part, a blow to it. And, and then Brittany felt a little guilty because she's like, ah, I did that. Dang it, I did that. So it was kind of like, ah, well, Julie, here we go. But um, yeah, it was um it was a show. <laughs> it was a show. So we get everybody talking and waiting on the elf to come in, Derek, Derek X, and he comes in. He lightens the mood up a little bit, which I appreciate. And he's like very committed to his role. He was like, "Come on in, we have a we have a emergency. I need your help." Very committed to the role, and everybody's like, "Whoa!" Committed what? to the role, and simultaneously uh, might have taken a page out of Jordan's book, not being able to read. Because he was like, the number one pop star has disappeared. Jill Frost. I was like, Derek, what are you doing? He was waiting for it. He was giving you anticipation. Like, he wanted you to think about it. Like, oh, Even Derek what? fell off in this episode after Danielle got eliminated. I was like, Danielle really splintered the reindeer game. Oh, God. Oh. I think everybody was just kind of off a little bit, but Derek was, he was giving us, and he was like, the, our favorite pop star has disappeared. Jill Ross! That was for intense, that was intense. How could you? No! Just, a, just Josh going, how could they? Not oh. to camera, just to the air. Just to whoever was next to him. They don't give a fuck anymore, and I love it. I'm here I, for it. I laughed so much watching this episode because of how much just no one cares anymore. I find it so entertaining. But see, this is the thing. I think they don't care anymore, but I think they do care. It's kind so of they, a weird 
they care about the games. They care oh, about they, winning. They care they about don't it for the care money. About, they don't, they don't care, care about, about the fa la 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 and the the hand fisted uh, Mary whatever references that they have to make. Yeah. 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 So it is what it is. But we get the naughty or nice challenge, and it is yeah. to go get all the clues to who kidnapped Jill Frost and um, clues are scattered throughout the lodge, and you have to go find it. So they're off, they're running, they're looking. It's hair in the bathroom, it's hooves on the door, it's collars on the mantle. It's it's profiles in the lounge area room. All of these things are the clues to bring back who stole or kidnapped Jill Frost. Everybody's making guesses. We're getting in making guesses. And honestly, the winner of this was Frankie because he guessed first Josh had it, but Josh answered right after him. I love and I love the way that this challenge was won by Frankie. Not through skill, nope. not through actually finding all the clues. No, he 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 went with Brittany and Nicole, and there were three options, and there were three of them, and they said, "Oh, okay, let's all just pick a random one." I'll pick. I don't remember what the what the answer was, but it was like. <sighs> Uh, it was stupid. Liver it wasn't siren. stupid. No, nope, stupid, stupid wasn't it. It wasn't it stupid was or stupid. siren. It was the other one. Sliver or something like that. Yeah. But he's something. just like, I'll take this. You take this, and you take this. So he won by random. Right. And I love that that happened. Literally, he guessed, and then literally Josh guessed after, and the confidence radiating from Josh Martinez being like, I finally won a naughty or nice challenge. The winner is Frankie. Oh. Yay! Yay! Frankie. I yeah. died laughing. I really wanted Josh to win that, but that was me too. It was, it was Frankie. So good on Frankie. So Frankie's naughty or nice power is that he gets to pick his teammate for the uh Jingle Bell Brawl. And they get the other people have to just run get pick themselves to figure out who they're going to pair up with. And um also he gets to freeze somebody in the challenge for 45 seconds. Ooh. And so I was like, oh, that's that's kind of interesting, especially seeing what the Jingle Bell Bra challenge was. I was like, woo, okay, that's the power. That's the power. But um so he's going around trying to figure out who he's going to pick. And um, he ends up picking Taylor. And I was like, okay, makes sense because Taylor is actually coming after him. So therefore, him yeah. picking Taylor prevents her from coming after him. And she's, and a, great she's a great competitor. Exactly. Um, yeah. I thought it was the best possible choice Frankie could have made. Because the moment he was like, well, I know I can't work with Brittany or Nicole in this. Mm -hmm. It's like, I'm just going to splinter the established alliances that are here. Mm -hmm. And when the other the other four had to come up with their teams, this was one of the most awkward discussions oh, I think we've seen in Big Brother in so long. Yeah, it was so weird. Both of the guys were like, well, we don't want to be paired up together. And um, both of the ladies were like, oh, well, we should have all of the teams be... Uh, male female to keep things as even as possible because they have no clue what the that's yeah they have no clue what the challenge is going to be yeah that was what Xavier and Josh were saying they, they were like we should make it male female just because we don't think oh I, it, I switched it up yeah okay. Brittany and Nicole wanted Brittany to work Nicole together wanted to work together yeah which I wish they would have but I, I wish they would have too because then I feel like there is actually a shot that Josh and X could have won the challenge I do too. But and yeah, and then it would have been easy pickings for that, but okay, but anyway, yeah, but yeah, so they end up picking, and we end up with Josh and Brittany as one duo, and then X and Nicole. They kind of made it easy for Frankie and Frankie and Taylor, if I'm being honest. 
Oh, I hate absolutely. It. Absolutely. Yeah. But we see what the we go to the jingo ball tri- brawl challenge, and it's a puzzle. <laughs> it's a puzzle. It's, it's a like huge a puzzle. puzzle. It's a puzzle. You put this package together back in the it's like Santa's sleigh in, in shambles, and now you gotta put the mm-hmm. packages back in the sleigh so it all fit mm-hmm. correctly. And I so, love these kinds of puzzles. I mean, we just saw one of these mm-hmm. on Mimi 25, the iconic yep. Mimi running in her heels. Um, so I love that. That was mm, the that was a different. That, no, 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 she the, no, she on night one she did the puzzle. I know, but it was a sliding put together kind of. Oh no, no. No, it was a stacking. It was puzzle, a stacking puzzle. kind of thing. It was a stacking. Because America thing, yeah. won it. It was yeah, the only I, thing she won. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I kinda I don't know why I thought it was the sliding of the We're trying to things. we're trying to erase BB twenty five from our minds, I understand. But yeah, stacking puzzle thingy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So yeah, we saw that. But this was in a bigger capacity. Like that sleigh was huge and all the packages were huge and those puzzle pieces were huge. I was like, woo. Yeah. But yeah, they were, they put them together. And the winner of the Jingle Bell Brawl ended up being Frankie and Taylor. And I mean, I think they used their freeze power to the absolute best. Yes. Absolutely. They could because X and Nicole came out, uh, came right out with a really strong lead. And Taylor recognized that and was like, no, we need to freeze them. Mm -hmm. And so I thought it was the best, I thought it was the best usage of uh, the freeze that they could have. Josh and Brittany were nowhere near done. They're flounder. Yeah. So very happy for both of these two. Great. Great, great, great. And so with Taylor and Frankie winning, they have to both decide one person from each of the losing teams to go into Santa Showdown. And they had to pick an ornament out of the stocking. Red was uh, Josh and Brittany. Green was X and Nicole. And they had to pick one person from the color that they chose to go into Santa Showdown. And I love the way that they did this by random draw. Yes. Because I think if the if the scenarios had been flipped, we obviously would have gotten a different showdown. We would have got X and Brittany. Exactly. I'm like, we would have gotten the exact opposite. Exactly. <laughs> like the exact opposite. Yeah. Um, but the part that frustrated me is I understand that like Nicole has come into this season being like, well, I want to be a girl's girl. And I want to align, like, and she has, she has been aligned with Taylor. I would say that she has been aligned with Taylor. She ain't had no reason not to. She had no power to show that she really wasn't or was. She ain't had no power to do it. Exactly. No, I agree with you. Um, the difficulty here is then when Taylor chooses X over Nicole for self-preservation purposes nicole gets so butthurt i feel so betrayed i feel so betrayed she's not for the women like she i was like you of all people got the nerve the gall the all mitigated gall to say the nerve the cheek the gall the audacity and the gumption to sit right here in our faces. And and complain about a black woman picking a black man who supported her and has, she has openly said uh, the cookout was part of the reason that her experience post BB24 was so positive on top of the fact that they have been aligned since the moment they walked into the lodge and you're going to sit here with I'm going to say it. Some people have it, but I'm going to say it with your white woman tears. Uh, mm-hmm. And you're mm-hmm. going to complain about a black woman pr- saving a black man in this scenario and also preventing X from going into a Santa showdown for the first time. This is the first time he has not been safe. Exactly. Shut the fuck up and go do your showdown. Like, you, this, you, and this is where I get frustrated with Nicole again. I'm just like, God damn it, Nicole. You have the audacity to tell some woman that she is not a girl's girl when you sat in our faces for two seasons. Two seasons. Three. Three 
16, three seasons and played. Well, I'm, okay, okay. 16, I'm not going to say she was that girl. I'm going to say she was that sure. girl in 18, in, in, in 18, 18 and 22. And then 22. You okay, both yeah. for two seasons, which are your two recent seasons, by the way. You go sit in our face and act like we forgot season 18 and season 22 when you played in Davon Rogers' face both times. Both times. Both times, because you are a girl's girl now, all of a sudden, because you had a child, you are now a girl's girl. But when you were single Pringle, sleeping with every man who walked in the house, you was not a girl's girl. But because you finally found the one man who was going to take you for real, for real, and gave you a child, now all of a sudden you are the girl's girl and Taylor's the, the how dare she not go with the girls? When y'all are in a whole other alliance with Frankie, exactly where she is third in your alliance, even in the girls' alliance, she is third. Yeah, when she's in alliance with X and with Josh, she's at least second. Because even when it was all the women, too, they would have picked Danielle over Taylor. She was fourth, she's third in yours, and now with X, she's at least first and second. Yeah. Like he's writing for her. She's writing for him. You're not writing for her completely. You're writing for Brittany. And yeah. then Frankie. But I would have cut Frankie before I cut Taylor. Okay, cool. But then you, Brittany is your next option. And you're not going to cut Brittany. You're not cutting Brittany. She was doing this for self preservation for her game. This is how she had to play for her game. Girl, bye. I was like, girl, Nicole. And compare Nicole. that with. The one thing I will say is, and this is not to defend Nicole at all in this scenario, uh, but you look at that and then compare it to Britney's comments on it, where Britney's just like, I get it, but now we see where she stands. And it's like, that's valid, because that's game-based. And, like, everybody else talking about it in a game sense, Nicole can't seem to do that. It's just like, what the fuck? It's just so... I, I can't. I can't. You can't want to go, but it's Nicole and Josh in the Santa showdown. And when we get out to see what the Santa showdown is, Nicole is again like, Oh no, oh no, I'm gonna lose. And I was like, I looked at this Santa showdown and I said, Nicole's gonna win. I said, This is Nicole's best shot of any competition we've had so far to beat Josh. I was like, because this one right here is not suited for Josh because he's such a big guy. And this one is better for Nicole. So the the it was an endurance challenge. And which I'm was, happy to see. Me too. I'm glad to see it. We haven't yeah. seen one thus far. But it was hold on to the candy canes for as long the bucking candy cane for as long mm-hmm. as you can. And the candy cane was moving and grooving and shaking. And I looked at this challenge, and once it started, I was like, yep, Nicole's going to win this challenge, y'all, because Josh is so big, that thing is going to buck him right off. Nicole was so small. I think he's still... Oh, he they did, both really did well. They both did they a really did good well. job. They yeah, did they so good. Really well. It went on for about an hour and some change. It was like so. an hour six, I think it was. But yeah, I keep, I keep seeing the time pop up, because our good friend Taja decided mm-hmm. to post a specific gif of mm-hmm. somebody specific where the time is showing. Yeah, we love that. Thank you, Taja. Thank you, Taja. <laughs> we appreciate you, love Taja. You. Love you. Bye. But um, yeah, it was um it was very good and it was close. It came down to very, very they close. They fell yeah. off. They within, both fell off around the same time. Like within, without, a second within of each second. other. Yeah. But absolutely Nicole <sighs> ended up winning. The Santa Showdown, which yeah. I knew was going to happen when I saw what it was. Yeah, and, I'm, um, I'm not unfortunately, unfortunately, we lose Josh, no. and I'm really sad about it because I actually grew to really appreciate and like Josh yeah. in this season. Yeah, and I hate to do it. I hate to ah. do it. Oh, oh. <laughs> I thought his little sentiment at the very, very end was so yes. incredibly sincere, being like, I grew up watching Big Brother. 
like just to be and i know i would be in the exact same headspace like oh absolutely being able to play with all like to say that you've played big brother technically with danielle reyes, danielle reyes. and Brittany haynes and taylor hale and some other people but mostly those people like I that mean, for me would just be like that would be incredible i mean see for like i'm looking at it like modern day big brother and then mm -hmm. old school big brother to say you played a game with Danielle reyes who was in oh, the yeah. very beginnings of old school big brother yeah. Who you? We all watched the robbery that happened in her her season. We all saw it. We saw it. We have felt it. And it's like now you get to say, "I was on the same season as Daniel Reyes." We strategized. We talked. We came up with plans together. I saw her mind at work in real time. It's crazy. And then the the um the uh, people who have shaped the modern era of Big Brother, like a Britney, like a Nicole, like a Frankie. And it's like, wow, I got to play with them because they were like middle of the road of Big Brother where Big Brother was, Nicole was on a season where the seasons, it literally, Frankie and Nicole were on a season that literally shifted how Big Brother was played. Like they, that season yeah. literally shifted the atmosphere of how Big Brother is played. Brittany gave us DR gold. And, and we I would say she was on a season. And I was going to say she was on a season. She wasn't part yeah. of the game shifting strategy, but she yes. was on the seat. She was all, she was unfortunately the final casualty of right. the game changing yeah. twist. Like all of these players were brought back for a specific reason because right. they did something to right. impact the game of Big Brother. And, and and no, but see, and let's, I will, I'm no, gonna, I'm kidding. I'm, I'm not kidding. gonna do that to camera because here we no, go. I'm because then you think about Josh, who was the un most underrated winner that people would give credit for to winning because, like, they, they, and people still do this stuff. They were like, Josh didn't win, Paul lost. Like, people were voting against Paul, not for Josh. And I'm like, that's a little undermining, but. And then you have a Taylor and Xavier who came into this game. Xavier with the cookout be the best alliance because before the brigade, because after since the brigade, because the brigade didn't lose but one member, the cookout lost nobody. <laughs> nobody until the final six. And then Taylor coming back after her historic win and winning America's Way. Like all these people, and even Cameron being in this house just right after, before this, and playing the game that he played, where he was the underdog. And he, being like, a super fan too, and being like, yeah. Yeah, like he came in this game and he was out. He was out. They voted him out. He won several, HOH what, twice? Yeah, I think so. He won HOH twice. He got voted out, got himself back in, won HOH right after that. <laughs> and then it, he played and made himself to jury. So everybody who is left in who was in this game, in this cast, made an impact on their season. And it's like I would be like Josh too. I'd be like, I'm just amazed that I got to come back and play. Like I was enough mm -hmm. to come back and play this game with these people. This is amazing. Even though he only got an ugly sweater out of the deal. It was cool. It well, was Danny cool. had to take the 5000 so, you know. Absolutely. Queen needs to clean money, so period. So, I love that for Josh. I appreciated Josh on this season. I was very sad to see Josh go. I really wish him and, and, and X would have just paired together, and it would have been, uh, the outcome would have been like, okay, so much different and so crazy. But it was, that was it. That yeah. was that. We sped through this one today, damn. I mean, 30 minutes is about what we... Yeah, that's about good. That's about right. But yeah, we're going to be back here to, uh, to Wednesday. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. We'll be back here tomorrow. Because we've got same. an episode tonight. Tonight. So same wow. time tomorrow. Same panel, probably. We'll be back to talk more Reindeer Games. Um the penultimate episode yes, of right. Reindeer Games. And Tiffany's coming. 
Yay! Yay! We get Tiffany. So I'm sweet. so excited to see X's reaction when Tiffany walks in. I cannot, and, and Taylor, actually. I cannot wait. The spirit of Tiffany and the presence of Tiffany needs to propel Taylor and X into the Ranger games. Mm -hmm. That's what I need. It's what I want for my spirit. And I want Nicole to get the fuck out. Because it's honestly a top four of Brittany, Taylor, X, and Frankie feels incredibly correct. Okay. So, for me. Okay. Okay. Well, well, we'll see what happens tomorrow. We'll be back. But before you go, hit that subscribe button. Do all the things to say you support us because we appreciate all of your support. If you happen to hit the dislike button, hit that twice. Um, follow us on all of our social media outlets at The Cup Pod on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok because we have some funny moments and we're going to be doing our thing. We're stepping up our social media game in 2024. So be on the lookout for that. Um, follow us on our main channel at The Cup Pod and on our Eurovision channel at The Cup ESC. And also hit that form in the community tab if you're looking at this before Thursday, December 21st, and fill out the form for the Cup Awards. We really appreciate you, and we want to hear your voice. And you can follow Logan and I on our uh, uh, social outlets if you want. Those are our Twitter handles. And if you keep scrolling down in the description, you can get your Cup merch. Not limited to the Cup mug, but you can get the Cup mug and all the other things. And on that note, we are going to be up out of here. So. Cheers, y'all. Cheers. Cheers. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye now. Bye.